This is my onion. I will be eating it during my presentation. Hmm. Notes on diet in mind, body dualism. Diet is of the body and politics are of the mind. However, bodily habits seem to mirror ways of thinking. Right-wing politics have been linked with higher levels of testosterone and with physical fitness. Conversely, the vegan movement has a leftist orientation, which protests against animal victimization at the hands of privileged humans. In the last 50 years, obesity has increased by staggering numbers. What impact could obesity have on political opinion? And what political faction desires this outcome? Mm. Obesity cannot come from a sedentary lifestyle alone, but a sedentary lifestyle does not help. Hmm. Hunter-gatherers traveled vast distances in search of food, followed the herd in its migration. Constant travel, walking miles every day. Hmm. Hmm. So good. Carrying clothing, tools, supplies, food, weapons. Hmm. And those who could not walk themselves kept hunter gatherers extremely lean. If there was a season of plenty, members of the tribe might temporarily gain excess fat. However, this fat would be burned up during the following period of temporary starvation, which I don't have right now. It's all vegan on my plate. After the invention of agriculture, human communities no longer needed to migrate vast distances and did not stray from their farms. Still, farm work involved gathering seeds, hmm. tilling soil, digging irrigation, <laughs> weeding, harvesting, and processing. Hmm. With the Industrial Revolution, the 90% of the population which had lived on farms was able to eat, I mean to leave, for the cities and work in factories. Factory work was so backbreaking. Hmm. To inspire the critique of Marx and Engels. While farming requires physical labor, one cannot make the plants grow faster. By exerting more effort on limited land, hmm. the demands are hopefully work. I said the demands of factory work often pushed human capacities. During this period, hmm, the capitalist class gained the insult, no, fat cats. And this represents the beginning of the age of obesity. of factories has ushered in a post-industrial economy in which physical labor is not required for 90% of the population. A total inversion of all human history. There are still jobs which require physical labor. Mining, building, and construction. These industries are being automated. Mm -mm 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 
And the number of workers continues to decrease. Locomotive travel decreased the frequency of walking. Even the act of driving itself, which requires only that one pay attention, will soon be automated. I'm sorry, I can't do any more. I need some mangoes and juice. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. And go onion vegan. Okay, one more bite. I'm Monique Lugans, and this is my onion. His name is Bunyan.